Hey, hello everyone. This is uh, Mario Cavada, AKA Bola Space from No Devotion Records. And um, well, this is a, a really nice uh, time right now. Um, it's 8 p.m. PST, uh, Pacific Standard Time. And um, life is good, man. Life is good. Uh, we, we're going to have Sin Kirin from uh, Ministry and a few uh, coming to hang out for a minute with us. And uh, it's going to be great. We're going to chat for about an hour or so. And um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, just just uh, so you guys know, uh, has been quite some time since Sin has been gone for personal reasons. Nothing that we, uh, none of our business, obviously. Uh, we love Sin for being a musician, for being a gentleman, a good friend, an exceptional uh, person, and a badass overall. Which, uh, which is that we, exactly what we care about. And um, Sin is about to get here in a minute. He's uh, he's uh, he's around actually. He's backstage, if you like. He's gonna be uh, here with us in a few. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm just a regular guy who happens to run uh, an industrial dash dark wave. A uh, record label named uh, No Devotion Records. It was founded in Sacramento, California, back in 2014, and uh, has been on the grow on the on the growing for the last few years. Uh, I've been lucky enough to um, to uh, meet a lot of people. One of them, obviously, is Sin Kirin. And guess who's here? Right here. What's happening, brother? What's happening? Not much, man. Not much. I was just telling people that um, we we met uh, a, a few a bunch of years before, ago when you were touring with Revco in uh, Orange Bell, California. It was the first time I I, I met you. You were yep. very cool. You gave me a pick. Uh, <laughs> you, you told me hanging out after the concert, and you're like, "Hey, what's up, dude? You want a pick?" And I'm like, "Sure." And you gave me, I still have it, by the way. I, I still have it. <laughs> ah, you should sell it, man. You're looking good, man. You're looking fresh. Thank you, Thank you man. Well, I uh, I literally just walked out of the studio and, um, you know, doing uh, what I love to do. So uh, I'm in a uh, good place and uh, good vibes and uh, everything's going really well, man. Absolutely, brother. I cannot expect anything less from you, from a very prolific uh, musician. I'm, I'm going to talk to you as a fan that I am. Uh, I consider you my friend, and, and, and but I, I'm also a music fan, and I have my idols. You know, I have people who I uh, uh, admire and, and, uh, and I look after, so I can learn something in life. And, and you, uh, you, you are in that group, obviously, and and. Uh, I personally know you've been you've been busy, very busy, and and part of this, uh, re, part of the reason of, of why we, we, I come up with this idea was so you can tell us what you've been up to, man. What's up with that studio? What's what's the whole mystery about it? Can you give <laughs> us a little sum of what's coming from from Sinkirin? Yeah, I mean a lot of stuff, man. Um, you know, it, it's been. Uh... You know, I don't have to tell everyone. It's been a tough year on everyone. Um, and uh, luckily, I've been able to stay busy doing music and uh, with uh, a few of my projects. And I've got uh, a few guest spots um, on a few uh, people's and a few artists' uh, songs as well. But, um, you know, I've been very fortunate that uh, I get to do what I love to do. And um, I've been uh, locked up in the studio doing a lot of music, man. Um, today, actually, one of my uh, side projects uh, called Three-Headed Snake uh, signed a deal with uh, Cleopatra Records. You bastard. And, um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, a lot of people to thank 
uh, for that, for making that happen. Um, but uh, that was very, you know, and is very exciting for me. Three-Headed Snake has been a project that uh, that I've had for probably around, I don't know, maybe three or four years now, something like that. And um, go ahead. There, there's a really cool story about Three-Headed Snake. Uh, you, you guys barely got together. You guys had like four songs and you guys were taken to Europe to play at this huge <laughs> festival, right? Yeah, well, I mean, we released a three-song EP a few years ago. And... Um, You know, we had uh, we had enough songs to, to play a set at a at, at a for a show, but it turned out our first show was at the uh, Bloodstock Festival in um, in the UK. So that was our first and only show. Um, so that was our debut, which was amazing. Um, but uh, I mean, we have an album's worth of material. But uh, you know, th throughout this year, we've just been writing and writing and writing, and um, Luckily, we've been in talks with Cleopatra Records, and uh, they heard some of the new stuff, and they were very interested, and they uh, offered us a deal, and that's what I went and signed uh, early this morning. And, um, you know, so we'll have some new Three-Headed Snake stuff coming out uh, in early 2021. Um, and, you know, I, I've also got this, uh, this other project uh, that I'm doing um, with my buddy Ashes, from the band Double Driver. Um, another talented friend of mine, uh, Alex, over at uh, Stygian Sound Studios. Um, and that's where we've been spending a lot of time recently on this really, really cool, um, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like an industrial, heavy industrial, um, you know, kind of project. And um, I'm really excited about it, man. Those songs are coming together you know, really nicely. And I can't wait for people to hear it. Wait, I think there's a small clip that someone that, that was posted on YouTube. Um, and I think it says ashes and sin on there. That's yeah. not like, that's not the name of the project. It just happens to be our names. And, you know, since we don't have a name for the project yet, that's just what was put on there. But uh, if anyone's interested, yeah, if you just look up ashes and sin on YouTube, um, you'll see a little clip of, of what we're doing. For sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. It, it, is, it is kind of natural for you uh, uh, to, to stay busy in the music uh, besides your, your uh, personal uh, end of hours. Obviously, you, you got things going on both sides professionally. And, and uh, we, we can actually expect that, that, that you were busy creating. And yes, Ashes... Uh, uh, Super cool friend to uh, meet, meet you guys in Mexico City last year. Yeah, uh, we hung out for a minute and, and it was awesome. Um, so when, when can we expect this project with Ashes? We, we can, when can um, we something out? I'm 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 thinking something. Hopefully, it'll be out in early 2021. Um, so not too far off. Um, the stuff is coming together real quickly and real easy um which is you know really nice and refreshing um but yeah man i just i, I it's like i want to i want to talk about it and tell and show everyone what we're doing but i i can't right now it's, it's just, I, i'm so so excited and happy about it man um it's just you know and it's and it's been a pleasure working with these guys Um, I mean, you know, Ashes um, and Alex um, over at, at the studio yeah, have just lovely. been have, have just been amazing, um, amazing individuals, uh, super talented, and just great guys, great people, and that's very important uh, to always, you know, try to surround yourself with with the best people and um, not only great musicians but just great friends, and that's what these guys have been to me you know, this whole time that we've been working. And we started this project uh, probably over the summer. Um, so I want to say somewhere like around July or August or something like that. Yeah. And um, it was funny because Ashes and I had been talking about wanting to do a project together for years. And, um, you know, taking a negative, turning it into a positive, 
because of this shutdown and because, you know, all our tours got canceled and postponed, we've been home. And so we kind of took that opportunity to um, write and get to get finally get together. And we just started writing together, you know, and it was just for fun. Um, no pressure or anything like that, but it's just, it's turned into, and it's turning into this amazing project that, um, I just, I really can't wait for people to hear it, man. Especially if you're into the heavy, uh, industrial thing, I think people are really, really, really going to like it. For sure. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I remember when we were sitting at that, uh, Mexico city hotel in La Cruz. Or eating tacos. We, I, I don't know what we did, man. I think we had coffee, like three or four coffees. We were all hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah. In, in a little, in the lobby r restaurant yeah. at that hotel. Yeah, yeah. Remember, we, we had this very strong coffee and we were all yeah. hyper. And yeah, and I remember, and I remember the conversation. Um, I remember clearly. And, and I, it's just, it's just a natural thing seeing you guys interact like brothers. You know, there's nothing better to yeah. work with, with family, with people that you click with. That you're comfortable yeah. with, uh, yeah. not pro not protagonist, but team workers, no. team team players. Yeah, that's, I, that's I mean, I gotta say, I've, I've been very lucky. Um, Ashes has just been, I mean, just you know, I can't say enough about the guy. Um, oh, yeah. we, have know, the same, we have the same, uh, we have the same, we have the same work ethic. Um, we have the same beliefs. Um, and, you know, the drive is there and, you know, I'm all about that. I'm all about people hustling and working and, um, you know, making things happen. Um, and uh, so I've been, again, I can't say it enough. I've been very lucky to be with uh, with Ashes and with Alex over at uh, Stygian Sound. If anyone's out there, I mean, um, please check out uh, Stygian Sound Um on their social media and if anyone's looking to do any studio stuff please check it out because it's a great studio alex is a great engineer producer um he, he will make your project sound amazing so um sure. you know i can't say enough good things about those guys for sure for sure there's also another another project that you and i are, are still involved uh uh this band we can openly talk about called nukes um which yep. you are pretty much producing and uh, we got a couple of tracks waiting uh, uh, to be uh, released in the near future. Uh, yep. We actually, we actually in a band together. I, I can cannot believe I'm saying that. I, I just, I just don't. I'm the, uh, I'm, I'm the go-go dancer in that band. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm gonna wear a tutu on stage. What are you talking about? I'm gonna wear a tutu. I'm gonna wear a tutu by four four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Can't wait for us to go live, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot of people uh, sending sending a lot of love, man. Fuck, you were missed. Oh man, yeah. It, you know, wow. I, uh, I, I'm I'm very lucky, man, and uh, I, I'm blessed to have the friends all over the world that I have. Um, that's good you know, that, that stick by you through thick and thin, um, that says a lot about people. And, uh, I, I'm eternally grateful, you know, to, to everyone, to you, to all the people that, that have reached out to me throughout the year. Um, you know, cause it's been a rough one for everyone on different levels, you know, and, uh, Brother, uh you're just getting what you deserve. Uh, there's more, there's more good people than bad people. You know what I mean? Uh, I believe people understand when they when, when people who doesn't know you will talk whatever. But when people gets to see you, when people gets to talk to you, to feel you, they will understand what it's all about about this guy named King Kieran. You know what I mean? So that's what you're getting, man. You're getting a shitload of love right now. I'm getting jealous, man. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's just a lot of love. Uh, Jen Snow Snowders, uh, Rennie Elizabeth, Denise, oh. Ju uh, June Flores Martinez. She's sending a lot of hearts. Beverly Ann, one of your biggest fans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who, look, 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 guess who's here? Alker from Region. Oh, Maryland. really? We love you. Oh, right on. on. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, we, it's like, I, don't, I, can't, I can't see what people are saying or, or, or who's up saying what, but I mean... 
Yeah, uh, I'm gonna just let everybody know if you don't get get back to them. Hey, hey guys, uh, Sin just got got out of the studio and he couldn't make it home for the interview, so he's broadcasting from uh, from his phone. And for him to uh, to to move his phone or whatever, he's gonna lose the the camera and blah blah blah. So I'm just gonna do my best to 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 uh, be uh, the middleman for these hikers. <laughs> Jesus, brother. Yeah, uh, Jen, Snooter, Sands are hard. Denise, uh, I think it's Denise, but she spelled it. D, uh, yeah, yeah, I know D. I, 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 I know yeah. all these people that, that, that you're mentioning so far. And I mean, you know, I, I, I love all these people. They're all their friends. And uh, some people, you know, man, it's funny. Some people you meet out on the road and they end up turning into lifelong friends. And, um, you know, sometimes you, you lose contact or you're not in, in contact as much as you'd like. But once you make that connection and that friendship with someone, it's always there. It doesn't matter how much time passes. So, um, you know, thanks yeah. to, to all these people that, that are always there for me. Major Black, June Flores Martinez, uh, everyone, uh, Barisol Carrillo, that's my sister-in-law. She loves you. By oh, way. oh yeah, thank I'm you. In Cancun, Mexico, so you're being seen in Cancun, Oh, nice. Mexico. Un saludo a todos mis uh, amigos mexicanos, uh, como siempre, como siempre que viva México. Viva México, cabrones. Eso. <laughs> and, uh, well, my, my, everybody's watching, bro. So, hey, um, has been, what, 30 years, 35 years since you grabbed a guitar, bro? Something like that. Yeah. Or that, that, since I, I was have born. A, I have a weird question for you, but, but you're going to, uh -oh. we're going to laugh about this, bro. One of my, my favorite face? shows. One of, yeah, no, no, no. Well, we're gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh about <laughs> everything. Uh, one of my favorite shows when it came out, it was the uh, the Gene Simmons thing. Oh, Family Jewels. Family Jewels. Were you on <laughs> that show? You? <laughs> was you? <laughs> was, that was it you, me, man? Of course. Oh, fuck, I knew it. I I couldn't find it. I just I just remember watching. I was on, okay, so let me tell you the story on how I ended up on, yeah. on Gene Simmons Family Jewels. So years ago, I, it must have been, oh man, I don't even remember, 15 years ago or so, something like that. Anyways, I was at the Key Club in Los Angeles, which used to be Gazzari's. So I'm there for uh, the record release party for Gene Simmons when he released his asshole uh, solo album. Okay. And so I was there for the uh, the record release party, and I was downstairs um, in, like, the, this VIP area, right? And I'm sitting there, and there's a camera crew following Gene around that whole night. And so the camera crew comes up to me, and one of the guys goes, hey, so, like, are you a big, you know, Gene Simmons Kiss fan? And I said, yeah. And he goes, like, do you know, like, some trivia, some facts? And I said, of course. And so he asked me some questions, and I knew the answers. And uh, he goes, so we're filming for this uh, channel. This A&E is the, the channel. He's like, we're filming the Gene Simmons biography for A&E. He goes, would you like to be on it? And I said, sure. And so they asked me a whole bunch of questions, and they ended up using about five seconds of me on the show, right? But I was—I had to sign a release. I had to give them my information and all that stuff. So they kept that information, and that's the same production company that started filming Family Jewels. So when it was time for them to do Family Jewels, this is the first for the first season. They reached out to me and they said, "Hey, man, we interviewed you at, at the Key Club. Um, we're shooting Gene Simmons' uh, reality show. Uh, would you like to be?" Uh, a part of it. And so I said, yeah, of course. So they invited me to Gene's house. And when I, yeah, when I got there, they were like, okay, so here's the scenario. Um, cause I mean, cause all that stuff is like, it's not really real, you know? Um, he goes, uh, the, the producer goes, okay. So the premise here is that Gene Simmons is looking for a personal assistant. Yes. And you're here to apply for the job. And so 
I was like, okay. And he goes, okay, so this is what's going to happen. So knock on the door. Gene's going to answer. Tell him that, you know, you're here to, to apply for this position. And then he'll take you inside. And then you guys just kind of chat and do whatever. And so that's what happened. Like, uh, you know, I knocked, I was in this front door and I knocked on it. He opens it. And I, the, the rest is what you see on the, on the show. And so there were other, there were like three or four other people supposedly um, applying for the job. And I was one of them. Wow. And, uh, but that's how I ended up on, on the show. But I had a great time with Gene, man. We, we, when I was filming my segment, you know, I hung out in his, um, kind of like his, uh, I guess it's his office. And he, it's where he has all the kiss memorabilia and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. We'll and so I ended up hanging out with him there. And, uh, every time I've, I've, I've met Gene and, and have spent time with him, he's always been funny and, and we've always gotten along great. Um, so that was really cool for me, you know, to do because, you know, Kiss was such a, a big inspiration to me as a kid. Um, but, I and, uh, but yeah, but that's how I ended up on Family Jewels. It's always funny, you know, when people, when, when they air that show, I always get text messages and it always comes every hour because like it starts on the East Coast and people will be like, hey, did I just see you on Gene Simmons Family Jewels? And then, like an hour later, I'll get another another you know group of texts from the next time zone, and then another hour later from the next time zone. It never fails every time that that happens. But uh, yeah, that was on the first season of his show, so it was a lot of fun to do. Wow! Yeah, I remember seeing that a long time ago, and I, I was just a huge fan. I'm not gonna yeah. say I'm a huge Kiss fan, but I do love Kiss. You know, feel yeah. Me? Um, I was I was a huge Kiss fan. <laughs> I know, and I know Gene is not your favorite Kiss member. I know. Well, no, I mean musically, it was Ace. Ace was uh, Ace Frehley was the uh, the guy that you know uh, as a guitar player that yes. uh, I looked up to and, and gravitated towards. Uh, you know, Gene. I mean, I liked the whole band. I was a little kid. I was six years old when I first got into them, and. Um, yes. That was the big inspiration and the big influence for me. And uh, the thing with Gene, as I got a little older, um, you know, like as a teenager and stuff like that, uh, what I always admired about Gene was just that he was always clean and sober. Uh, you know, he had never uh, drank, never smoked, never did any drugs. And to me, that was, I don't know, it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was something that I looked up to, you know, seeing a musician be that successful. Um, and doing what he loved to do and not falling into those pitfalls that, you know, happen to a lot of people. To me, I mean, listen, I, you know, I don't preach to anyone. Everyone do out, go out and do, you know, whatever makes you happy. But that worked for me and that uh, it was something that I always kind of carried in the back of my head, you know. For sure. Yeah, we, we look up to we look up to some people as a role as role models, some some people. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, do I do I agree with everything that Gene says and does? No, of course not. But, you know, that was an aspect of, 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 of him that I did sort of admire, you know, as a kid growing up, um, seeing that you were able to do it and make it and still be, you know, clean. It just worked for me. It worked for you. Yeah, it was a good yeah. inspiration for your personal life. Yeah. Old and also, and also <laughs> that he was very close with his mom. He was close to your mom? He was close to his mom. Oh, he was close... To his mom, yeah. just like you too. Just like me, yeah. Yeah, you take care of your mom always, always. Ab all the time, absolutely. You're, not poor, you're with your mama, and that's that's admirable. Yeah. That's you know, admirable. Some, uh, sometimes people have, have, have uh, throughout the years, have tried to insult me by saying, calling me a mama's boy, and I'm like, I take that as a compliment. Yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> yeah. like to me, that's a compliment, so, uh, yeah. yeah. My mom is back in LA. I, I wish I lived with her. I mean, when I got divorced a few years back, I, I went and lived to my, at my mom's house. Obviously, life took me to another path, and I left. Uh, obviously, it was a killer. Man. I wish I yeah. could live with my mom. I, I used to wish. Course. I live with my father. I'm happy because I'm, oh, I'm right on. With my father right now, and, and I'm enjoying every every minute of cool. it. So yeah, there's nothing wrong. Are you, are, you in, uh, are you in Mexicali right now? Mexicali, Mexico, yeah. I've been all around, you know, Sacramento. Then I moved to LA. Then I moved to Mexico City, and then I'm back. This is my hometown. This is where I was born. Oh, right on. 
born and I, and I got here. I just got my uh, my baby girl and, and, and my wife back from Mexico City. Awesome. What happened is that my wife, she's a, she's a, a manager for, for artists. And uh, we met when she was looking for someone to help her do a tour for this Spaniard singer in, in, in United States. So a third party connected us. We didn't know each other. And yeah. the first day we, we met, it was uh, it was it was it man it was it was over. We, awesome you know, man, right on. We were meant to uh, for each other, and we have a beautiful baby now. And that's a, I, that's baby. great. Yeah, that's her uh, sending a little heart. Edith Carrillo, my baby. Ah, uh, right and on. The future compadre, right here. <laughs> one absolutely one day. I'm gonna meet her one day soon. Yeah, we 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 work on that, brother. I right now yeah. thank you hard, but. I probably next year we make that happen, bro. And we, Absolutely, we, yeah. We make it. Happen. I mean, and and the plan to uh, a lot of people that that have asked me, um, and if anyone's you know wondering about this, it's on here. Uh, the 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 ministry tour that that was scheduled for July uh, with KMFDM and Frontline Assembly has been postponed to I think uh, April or May is the next. Uh, dates, I think, that it got postponed to. So that is all I know uh, at this point. Um, as far as we all know, that's when it's going to happen. You know, whether it happens or not, then we don't, we honestly don't know. Um, we're just going on what management tells us and what, you know, uh, the powers that be are the ones that are going to ultimately decide. But uh, that tour, it will happen. It just got postponed. Um, it'd be nice if it happened in April or May, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens here, you know, uh, in early 2021. Yes, and, and times uh, times deserve a hold up. They, they, I mean, we need to uh, keep ourselves safe now. Yeah. And as much as we love music, I mean... Come on, that's that's our that's what we work on. Uh, we we kind of get it now. You know, it's the best thing yeah. that could happen. It's hurting us, yes, and it's hurting the fans, yes. It's hurting the the industry, obviously, um, and it's hurting us that, that we leave off music. You know, but but I think we can agree that this is the best thing we can do. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on to ourselves and our 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 will to go out and. And conquer the world on a stage, you know, and, and, and absolutely it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know, right before this this shutdown thing happened. I mean, we were rehearsing in March, uh, getting ready to go to Australia and Japan to do the download festivals out there, and we literally were rehearsing up until like two or three days before the shutdown happened, and we were, I mean. We were almost on a plane, in, you know, headed to Australia, and the shutdown would have caught us out there. So, um, you know, that the download Australia stuff, I don't know when that's going to happen. I, I, you know, we've heard that it's getting postponed, but everyone's, it's just a waiting game right now, you know. And uh, the only thing we can do is just try to be safe and, you know, try to uh, take care of uh, one another and ourselves and uh and try to make the best out of this crappy situation i mean there's there's you know there's no uh there's no other way and there's no way around it um you know it's tough and and things get negative and and it's tough on people um but i always try to I don't know, man. I, I always try to look at the other side of things and and try to find that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on. Um, yeah. And you, sometimes you surprise yourself, you know, with uh, how things can happen in a positive way when you look at things in a positive way. Yes, sir. You know? that, so. boom, that, that's it, man. You couldn't have said it better, man. And Alker agrees. He says, hopefully happens in April, but it, it'll take any time. Health and safety first. Exactly. And then music for the mental health and sanity. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, we, and it's, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta tell you, touching on on that subject, um, 
it's tough, man. And it, it not, mentally, this whole thing has been tough on everyone. And, uh, you know, speaking for myself, like I, I'm not really, you know, one that, that um, ever suffered from like depression or, or anything like that. But this year, I mean, it, it put a strain on my mental well-being. Yeah. But the thing that I found um, that helped is leaning on friends and on people, which in the past I would never do because I always felt like, oh, I don't want to inconvenience someone or I don't want to bother them or, or you know, cool. you feel or, or I, I always kind of grew up, you know, I'm an only child and I was sort of a loner and uh, kind of like to do things and take care of problems on my own. Yes, sir. But that adds such a big weight to you. And I slowly just kind of started opening up to people and the friends and realized that it's okay to lean on your friends sometimes. And it's amazing when they embrace that. Um, it takes such a huge weight off of you. So, you know, if I had any advice, uh, you know, for, to people out there right now during these, these crazy times is, uh, is reach out, you know, to your friends and, um, don't keep things inside. Um, it's okay to, it's okay to feel vulnerable and it's okay to lean on the people that are around you because I found, and this is all speaking from, you know, a personal experience. I found that that, uh, has helped quite, quite a bit. Absolutely, man. It, it, it's, uh, it was hard the first three uh, months. Not, not, I'm not going to talk only for myself, but I can speak, uh, we can talk about for, for a lot of people. Right. And, um, it was definitely a huge blow mentally and spiritually. Yeah. It was very, very hard. So luckily, I mean, music, friends, uh, it's maybe a member or two of your family, whoever you can reach out to, you know, and, yeah. and find, find that uh, comfort that, that, that you're not expecting or that you are much needing at, at the yeah. moment you can you can lose up a little bit and let loose that pain and, and misery out of your head most most more than anything uh, yeah and I think we've been lucky to to have uh to have each other and, and to have another people in our lives that we can lean on with trust and confidence right so we don't we're not absolutely and I, and I mean and i also have to say i have to thank you personally um for all the times you would reach out to me and kind of push me and nudge me in the right direction. Um, that really meant a lot and means a lot to me. And I never forget that stuff. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to quote Gabriel Iglesias when he was talking about Snoop Dogg. Uh, he, he, uh, well, I'm just going to narrow it down for your, your comment. I'm just going to say gangster knows a gangster. <laughs> Very true. Very true. A gangster Very true. knows a gangster, brother. I know. I know. Who I, know. You I, know who you are. I know who you are. Um, and, and mama raised no fool. Well, that's why, again. That's why I was like, hey, motherfucker, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, bro. bro I, I bro, know. Bro. I know. And, 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 you know, there were times where I was feeling down. And you definitely helped pick me up, man. So, I mean, I just, I have to thank you for that. And I'll always be grateful and thankful for that, um, you know, for you, for you doing that for me. Well, man, I uh, thank you for uh, saying that. You didn't have to, but I do appreciate it humbly with all my heart. And, well, uh, that's what friends are for, man. Like I said. Exactly. Mama, Mama raised exactly. me. And I and I, 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 I recognize a man, the man who that you are, and I know I can expect the same from you. So absolutely, absolutely. So, and it's you know, it, yeah. uh, on another note in the same subject, it's also helped me to reach out to a lot of people yes. and um, to kind of just 
if anything, just say hi and just say, hey, you know, how you doing? Um, just a simple gesture like that, I think, can turn things around for people and at least give them some type of comfort um, in times like these, you know. Uh, so things like that are like advice that I give people nowadays, you know, is, is just reach out. Um, you know, don't hold things in, and it's it's okay to, to to need some help from time to time. Like exactly. it's okay, I it's think, okay. I think I think I have to add, uh, going back to to what you were saying about me, is that you actually helped me because you were you were brave enough to answer. You could have shut your phone down. You could have just not answered. But I was also looking for someone to talk to because I had so many projects. We had so many projects and so many things that my, my professional life, I started seeing it as a domino going down one by one. All my contracts, uh, events, live shows, tours, worldwide things, uh, money here, money there that I, I was about to lose it. So I, I think I, I, went, I narrowed down my thousand friend list to like three people, man. Iker was yeah. one of them, you were one of them, and, and maybe a couple of friends that yeah. were always there. And, and, and I was like, you know what, Sin is a busy man. Sin, Sin has things going on just like me. Uh, but you know what, fuck it, because he has things going on that involves me and and i'm just not gonna lose this at least this i'm not gonna lose yeah so i'm like fuck it and 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 you actually helped me too bro so thank you because you well, i appreciate that man thank you you answered, yeah. you answered and, and you 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 were up to you know and, and it was awesome i think we were a great company I, I i will say that humbly too we were a great company when we were needing one yeah, no, and it, and it's things like that that make a big difference, man, and that help. And I mean, thank you for saying that. That really means a lot, and I really appreciate that. And I'm glad I was able to somehow help you in a way as well as you were helping me. Um, but uh, you know, always moving forward and staying positive as best we can. Um, things will turn around. Things will change. Things aren't going to stay like this forever. Um, but I, I honestly, I'm always humbled by the amount of people that, you know, continue to, uh, stick with me and stand by me. Um, and it, it just like, I honestly can't thank all these people enough, you know, including you with this, with this group as well. But, uh, yeah, it, it just, it, it it really makes you stop and think um, how lucky, you know, you can be. Um, so I'm eternally grateful, man, to everyone, you know, that uh, that is still by my side. And um, always. And and you know, we'll we'll all be together again soon. Um, the outpour of uh, messages and emails and texts and stuff that I that I been getting recently has just been unbelievable you know unbelievable so it inspires me and it humbles me um and it just makes me want to continue to move forward and always stay on that positive vibe and to create um it gives me a lot of inspiration and uh it's showing and you guys are all going to see that very, very soon with all the stuff, all the music that's going to be coming out very soon um, with all the projects, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited about that. And a lot of it is all my friends out there, all the people that, that you know, um, are always reaching out to me. Um, they have a lot to do with fueling that fire uh, that I have because, you know, in difficult times, that fire starts to dwindle down a little bit. But, uh, you know, when people keep reaching out to me, um, it kind of rekindles that and it keeps it going for me. 
man, stop it, man. You're going to make me cry already, bro. Uh, it's true, man. Heart. It's true. It's you true. I mean, you know. And, and I'm not I'm not mocking you. I'm I'm being honest, bro. No, uh, I, I know, man. I know. Yeah. I know. It, it, we, we, I think we we got a lot to give. It seems Kirin has a lot to give. We all do. Even the people that is writing right now, everyone, every single person that still has a, a will to create and to and to give. Uh, yeah. in, in this case, talking about you because you are our our team today, um, per se. I don't know how to say it really. Uh, your our guest. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you you have a lot coming and, and I, I can get I can sign up I can sign that up I can buck it up I know there's a lot of work I know you got a lot plenty a lot to give um, like I told you one day hey bro just dig into those hard drives put the music out man because I know you have it <laughs> and, there's tons and, of stuff man there's tons of stuff and uh, I mean everything is gonna be out there we're gonna have some some nuke stuff happening we're gonna have I mean, three-headed snake stuff. I mean, today's just been an amazing day, you know, to sign that that deal with Cleopatra and, uh, you know, with this other industrial thing uh, that that is just going to be amazing. Um, and looking forward to, you know, these these reske or postponed or rescheduled, whatever you want to call it, ministry dates for next year. Yes, sir. And uh, there's any uh, ministry album uh, in the works? That's what I understand. Right? There is. Yeah, there, there is a new ministry record in the works. Um, I don't have any release date information yet, um, but I'm assuming fairly, uh, you know, first quarter of 2021, I would imagine. Uh, but don't quote me on that because that stuff could change. It could depend on, you know, when we get a better idea as far as when the, that tour is going to happen. For sure. Uh, Rini Elizabeth says, this dude is fueled by taco, chocolate, and shredding. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I love and miss her. Um, I've known her for many, many, many years. Um, I want to say uh, 14 years, maybe. Wow. Um, but we haven't seen each other in, I don't even remember the last, maybe 12 years. She's uh, it, but, uh, you know, again, one of those people that, you know, met on the road and uh, just turned into a, a lifelong friend uh, who is very dear to me. Um, you know, I have nothing but love for her. Um, and for a, a lot of my friends that, that you know, are, are out there watching. Um, but I forgot, Rini, I know you're watching. Um, I forgot my paper bag today uh, to cover my face. But uh, So I'm sorry for scaring you with this face right now. <laughs> yeah, she's saying uh, it's been since 2006. She's a Revco girl. Also, yes. uh, Beverly Ann says you like white powder down donuts. And, uh, <laughs> and Beverly, let me say real quick, much love to Beverly. She is a huge, huge uh, friend and supporter. Um, you know, nothing but love for Beverly. She's been amazing, uh, you know, since we met. Uh, so, yes. Yeah. For sure, there's a lot of love, man, in the chat. The, the, this, this conversation will stay uh, uh, in the No Devotion Records page. So you awesome. can uh, look it over again and um, share it and whatever. You can read all the comments. Cool. And I'm just letting people know again that Sin is on his phone. He cannot see the, the the chat, but he will after probably by dinner. He will take a look uh, and tomorrow and in a few days he'll be answering everything or saying hello or maybe. Yeah, I'll guys, I, 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 I apologize. I uh, literally walked out of the studio and didn't quite make it to the next destination. So I'm on my phone, uh, a bit mobile right now, if you will. Uh, so I can't see anything that's being said. Um, but afterwards I will, I look forward to, to seeing it and, uh, replying to everyone. Yeah. Really quick. Alker says, uh, my, fir I first met seen backstage at the 
see you later. 2008. Uh, yeah, I, I was interviewing Burton Seabell, and I mentioned that I've been a fan of Sin since Society One. And yep. he says, oh, man, you sure you want to say that out loud? I say, fuck yeah, I'll say it out loud. <laughs> That's the story. And then another guy right here says, uh, Rob Alamee says, Monsieur Rosin, vamos. Rob, I, I love you, man. You know, I miss you. Uh, Rob, uh, for those of you out there that don't know, is a, is a good friend of mine here from Los Angeles from an amazing band called Anger as Art. Uh, so if anyone is, uh, interested in checking out some killer metal from Los Angeles, please check out Anger is Art. And Rob also plays drums in a band called Evil Dead. Uh, Amazing. yeah. Never heard of yeah, that. yeah. Um, Rob, Rob is a fucking brutal drummer and more importantly, he is an amazing friend and an amazing human being. So much love to you, Rob. Hope to see you soon so we can have some fucking churros and some... Uh, we need some camarones al mojo de ajo. Oh, cabrones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Rob, hey, uh, any friend of Sin is my friend. So send send me some links, bro. I'm, not, I'm a nobody. I'm just a music fan. Let me check that out, bro, if you don't mind. Uh, Andrea Aguilera, you've been in another project with Tony Campos. Have I been in another project with Tony Campos? Or are you, there's anything going on or? Uh, no. Um, I mean, funny story. I've known Tony Campos uh, probably since the mid 90s when wow. we were uh, both in local bands, uh, not signed or anything like that. I was in uh, Society One. No, I take that back. Even before Society One, I think I met... Yeah, I met Tony when I was in a band called Electric Head. Okay. And he was in Static. They were just called Static at the time. And they were just a three-piece. And we, were, we used to play the, the, the Coconut Teaser in Hollywood. And literally, there would be like five or ten people in the crowd. And uh, the first time I met him... Uh, they came on right after us and I stuck around and watched them and I fell in love with the band right away. I became friends with Tony and with Ken and with Wayne and, uh, we've been friends ever since, man. And so, you know, I've known Tony since way back. Uh, but no, uh, Tony's, you know, uh, busy with, uh, with Static X again. Thank God they're doing well. Um, no other projects, uh, right now, you know, with, with Tony, but you never know. You know, we all we're all friends, and we all get yeah. together and do things. You know, uh, with each other musically. Tony bounced from uh, prong to uh, ministry. Yeah. Did he ever yeah. play in Revco? No, Tony never played in Revco. Um, he was just in ministry. He did the uh, the 2008 uh, See You Late tour, yeah. and then he did. Um, he did a couple of tours after that, like, uh, I don't know, in like three, four years ago, something like that. Yeah. But he got, he was busy with Fear Factory as well. Fear so Factory when he prong, couldn't, yeah, when he was yeah, busy, yeah. when he was busy with Fear Factory or Prong, then, you know, he couldn't do ministry. But if not, he would, he would do ministry. Cool, cool. cool. I love Tony Campos. I think he's yeah. one of the greatest uh, motherfuckers out there, honestly. He is. He's I amazing. And him. another, and another great guy as well. Yeah, Adoro. I've seen his interviews. I, I don't. I haven't met the guy personally, but he's one of those guys that I would like to to say hello one day. You know, because I know yeah. he's a dude. Yeah, he is absolutely. Hey, brother, yeah. it's eight fifty p.m. Um, Jesus it's Christ! Awesome it's been an awesome time. And and uh, what what what? Again, this is the first question I ask you when when we started this thing, but to. 2021, uh, big picture. Uh, we know. I mean, let's let's put it on the table. We know this thing ain't going nowhere. We we know we know uh, the COVID thing. Unless you have a vaccine and, and you have a really good uh, uh, health 
and you have a, you're gonna need like a I, I'm just assuming you're gonna need like another ID that you're vaccinated so you can go out and things like that. Yeah. I mean, in my mind is going in a thousand ways. I'm not a negative person. I'm actually a very positive person. I'm just willing to take whatever it takes for me to go on with my life. Sure. And music wise, music, I'm sorry, music wise, with my my professional life, um, I've been I've been designing what I what I need to do in order to pro, to prevail, in order to survive. And there's nothing else for me to do but to do releases, uh, physical releases, and and digital releases. And, and sure. Music. Uh, you know, put put up compilations and do whatever it takes for me to work on. What's yeah. your expectation for 2021 other than wishing the best and, and wishing that everybody can hug again? Well, I mean, for me personally, you know, with, with the lack of shows and touring, um, just like with you, it's putting, releasing, you know, songs and material and stuff like that we're just creating at this point, which is, it's giving us a lot of time to be in the studio and to write and record. Um, you know, hopefully we're all hoping that things start to turn. Um, and you know, I really honestly do think that they, they're going to, um, I don't know exactly when, I don't think anyone does, but, uh, but I am positive about that and I do feel positive about that. So, I mean, man, you know, everyone just has to, has to hang in there and do their best and really just take care of yourself and be as safe as you possibly can and try to take care of the people around you. Um, we just have to get through this, this, this tough time and there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. And, uh, you know, um, hopefully uh, sometime in 2021, we'll be back out there you know, touring, um, and, and, uh, going back to somewhat of a normal life, you know, that we used to all know and love, but until that point, we got to take care of ourselves and just, you know, uh, remain healthy. Um, that's, I think the most important thing right now, uh, do your best with, with, uh, you know, taking care of not only your yourself, but your loved ones, which is very important. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. And, um, you know, all this other stuff is secondary and it will happen when it happens, you know. It, 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 absolutely. And for all the people who's going to watch this, not only the ones that are with us right now, but the, the people that are going to watch this, it's a huge favor we all musicians or or labels need to ask is to hang in there we we're not quitting yeah. we, we're just taking yeah. we just we're just human beings we just people just like you the only difference is that we work in music or art that's the only difference but we, yeah. we need this as much as you do so don't don't get desperate don't don't point no. anybody. just don't 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 get frustrated because frustration fear and anger We'll, we'll set it back. We need to yeah. be positive. We need to embrace uh, positivism and love. That's the only way we can move forward. And more than anything, Absolutely. we need to be aware of what we're doing with ourselves nowadays. Why? Yeah. Because your comfort can be my death. Yep. So, Very true. Let, let, yeah, let's be careful. Let's be careful out there, people. I want to see my brother again. I want to go drink black coffee and get all tweaked out with coffee again. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and this other dude wants to eat uh, churros and I don't know what the hell. <laughs> is. So we want to, we really want to do that. You know, it's not, it's not crack or cocaine. We're talking about good stuff. Coffee. Exactly. Churros, and that's what we do. You know what I mean? Yep. And we need, we need to go back. We need to go back and do our work. It's just, uh, for all the people again, I, I I don't I will never get tired. If you wanna go see this guy live again and shred that motherfucker guitar the way he does, stay home for a few months. Just be safe. Get the vaccine. Yeah. Uh, if you yeah. don't believe in the vaccine, that's fine. Don't do it, but go test yourself. Yeah. You know, do the best thing you can do in order to be healthy and 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 don't fuck us up because I've yeah. been working very hard keeping myself healthy. I don't want anybody to fuck it up. And of course. 
I'm 46 years old and I have a nine year old, nine months old baby. You know, I want to hang around for a minute for her. So, of course. So don't fuck that up, man. Don't fuck that yeah. up. It it'll get back, people. man. It'll it'll all come back soon enough. You know, until that point, we all just, you know, like we've been saying, we all just need to be safe. Um, try to be as patient as we possibly can. I mean, we're still out here creating and, and writing and, and recording. And until we can get back out there, I mean, you know, we find other ways. We do these, you know, live chats. We can do some live streaming. We can still release music. Um, so, you know, until we get back out there, there are other ways to kind of just keep us busy and occupied. Absolutely. And I'm just going to give a little advance. Uh, Ashes is in Europe right now and a well-deserved uh, personal holiday uh, with his family. And uh, as soon as he comes back, uh, we, we hang out again with him. So we can yeah. talk a little bit more about um, about what's going on. How about that? That sounds great, man. He'll be back. He'll be back in about a week and a half or so. Um, but yeah, once he's back, then we'll we'll do another one of these with him, and and maybe from the studio we can do it um, when he's here. And maybe, and, uh, maybe a little, a little. Maybe uh, hear a little, a little, a little taste perfect. of what we got going on. Yeah. yeah, that'll be awesome, brother. That'll For be sure. awesome. Uh, Barbara. Scott, Alker, Beverly, Jen, uh, Kelly, and uh, Marisol, Edith, Julia Gongora, my mom was watching. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, talking about mama's yeah. voice. And, and yep. uh, everyone, everyone who uh, who joined us, uh, what can I say, man? Uh, this is for, for that guy over there. I know I'm not that pretty, but, um, you know. Listen, and, there's nothing pretty over here, man. <laughs> neither neither i man so i don't know believe what you're doing here <laughs> believe me but to, no thank you again thank you man for for doing this i appreciate it um and thanks to everyone that that watched and tuned in and like i said i'll i'll go over um the uh the chat the messages or whatever afterwards um after i get some food yes go have dinner bro i i will like to stay forever a couple more hours more than forever but i know you've been you had a long day you need to go have a uh, grab a bite and uh you need to go to rest because you are working very hard we'll talk to you very soon brother always thank hustling so much. man always thank you very much Perfect, man brother. i appreciate no, it again i can't thank you enough we will talk soon thank you brother bye bye thank bye -bye. you everyone bye Uh, well, guys, thank you so much. That was uh, Sin Kirin from Ministry, Three Headed Snake, Rev Coast, uh, Lords of Basic, blah, 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 a lot of bands. Thank you, everyone, for, for showing up. It was it was a nice thing um, to have you all. I, I, I don't know any of you personally or haven't interacted with any of you, but thank you so much. Uh, as soon as Ashes comes back from Europe, we will do this again. And, uh, and and seeing hopefully we can get some hints from their mu the music they're doing. Uh, just top secret information right now. We we're releasing some stuff from them, so don't don't tell them. Okay, this coming out in all the motion records. And just like Sin said, he has so much going on that there's going to be a lot of music coming out from all over the place. Um, Rob and Alanis, hey, Carnal, thank you so much. Yes, for sure. I'll check it out in a minute. Jen, thank you so much. Kitty, thank you. Dee, thank you. Beverly Ann, thank you so much. Uh, Rini, uh, thank you so much. June, good night. Thank you, everybody. Everybody, thank you so much. Uh, I will go back and read everything and try to answer and try to do my best. Thank you so much. This is Bola Space from No Devotion Records. See you very soon. Goodbye.